What's up guys, it is Walter with the Vault Pro Scooters and today is Friday and you know what that means, it is custom build time. So, I mean, it's nothing different here. It's a normal day, you know, we're just chilling. And let's go ahead and get this uh, build started, you feel me? So like, everybody usually like picks their parts randomly, but I'm gonna start this one different because I pretty much already planned this build out of my head because I had a sick idea. Let's start at the top and then go all the way down. You feel me? So like I said, since I'm gonna start at the top and then you know go all the way down, I need barns first, but I'm like, I'm trying to think on what barns I, I know. Sick, Odyssey Parns. And then we need grips. I know, I love these grips. I'm like new to these. And like, if you haven't ridden these, they're not that expensive on the vaultproscooters.com. Buy them, try them out, dude, because I guarantee you're gonna love them. Epic foam grips, I don't think I'm ever gonna go back to regular grips. Like, shout out to you, Auguste, for making me use them. All right, so I already got the bar ends, the grips. Now I'm gonna get the bars on behind me. Aha, sick, I found them. Dun -dun 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 All right, yeah, I'm definitely using these bars. It's a classic SCS LT in black. Only works with standard bars, and that cool sticker comes with this, like, Alrighty, go swim our way down to the headsets and pick one out. Of course, somebody leaves the grip tape out in front of what I need. I found it underneath the coral. It's chilling. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Found the fork. Yeah. Alrighty, so now we got the fork. The head. We need a deck. Boom, look at that. It's already waiting for me. Just sticking out there. I have the Jasper signature deck. This thing's sick. Look at these sick wheels. Ethic Incube wheels. Black on white. I've actually always wanted to own a pair of these. Always. And for grip tape, I already know what we're gonna use. Perfect. Mob brown grip tape. No, I'm kidding, it's clear. All right, guys, I'm gonna hop on into that current and head over to the studio. I will see you guys there. Whew. We are back and we made it into the studio. The parts are set up. Um, I think before I start building this, let me go ahead and go over this with you guys one last time. You know, I'm gonna start with this first. So, we, James Webby and I printed out this little Jack Skeleton head. I just cut it out and it's gonna go right on the deck, which is the Flavor Jasper Signature deck. And then we're gonna put this mob clear grip tape on over it so you can still see the head. And then we went ahead and picked out some black on white Ethic in cube wheels in 110 millimeters. And then we have a Tilt Classic SCS and LT. And LT means it only runs standard bars. So if you have oversized bars with this clamp, it won't work. A Tilt Black on Black 5050 headset, Odyssey par ends. The Tilt Tomahawk fork. I'll go ahead and show you the little Tomahawk right there. And then Ethic DTC foam grips, they're foam. Urban Art Evo, what is this? Urban Art Primo Evo V2 bars in black. Let's go ahead and start building. I'm gonna start with the grip tip because that's the longest process and I gotta take my time because I don't wanna mess this up, but uh, let's go ahead and do that. You know, while I'm getting this grip tape ready, let me go and talk about some specs on this deck just so you guys are aware of it. This deck is gonna be uh, 4.8 wide by 23.5. All right, guys, this thing looks pretty sick. Let's go ahead and throw this on there. Bam, all done. Like, look at that. And it's sick because that's super clear. I mean, and then this is kind of like foggy, so it's like it's fog. Like it goes together even better. Time to put the rest of the scooter together. So you're gonna put the headset in. The flat part is gonna be going down. And then let's put the top one in. This you do need, you put that on the deck so you don't lose it. And then here's the headset. So the flat part is gonna go on the top and then the little angled side is gonna go in the deck and then tilt, see if this says the word tilt right there, is gonna be facing properly so you can read it, it won't be upside down. Slide that in there, put the headset cap on there. And then your SCS clamp is gonna go on there. Pretty fat gap, and we're actually gonna need a headset spacer. Had to add a 10 mil headset spacer to that. Boom. Oh, that's butter. Alrighty, let's go ahead and install the back wall. I did already take the axles off, so it made it a little easier. And then what's cool about this deck is it actually has an integrated spacer, which is the same size as the nut. So it's like a 13 socket integrated in the back. So all you literally have to do is slide the little nut inside there, use your size six Allen wrench, tighten that bad boy away. Make sure I can really crank down on this. Bam, let's go. All right, let's do the front side. So what's really cool about this axle is it's the Tilt F5 axle. 
and it's flush. So when you put it all in, in there together, the axle gets flush with the fork. So when you're doing like smiths and stuff like that, you're not gonna be grinding on it unless you grind through the fork. So the front uses a size five millimeter Allen wrench to tighten that up. Alrighty, dang, this thing's looking so sick. I love it. Let's go ahead and uh, put the grips on and then the bar ends on and then the bars on and let's go ahead and see how it looks after. All right, so after, you know, using the air compressor and getting these bad boys on there, it's pretty sick. And what's cool is you guys are probably like, man, those have throttle grip. No, nah, dude, they're good. I've been using them for like a month and my grips are still like perfect. I'm gonna put these barns in now. These barns literally last forever. All righty, guys, after about two and a half hours of building this scooter and losing about 15 pounds of weight because of the heat, we can go ahead and throw it on here. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually stretching out the clamp. So the clamp obviously fits standard bars and this is a standard bar, but the paint on here is a little thick and the clamp's a little too tight. So what you do, you pretty much take out a bolt, preferably the middle ones, preferably this one, and you loosen all these bolts. You don't want them tight because then it's gonna be fighting itself. You have the probabilities of breaking your clamp, stripping it or ovalizing it. So just tighten this just enough so that your bar will fit through and slide in with no problem just like that. Kind of straighten it too, because once it's on there, it's kind of a pain in the butt to move the bar around. Get it as straight as you can, and then go ahead and take this out. This is what I usually like to do, because then it like rolls away. Bam, look at that. We are finally done. Look at this. Um, let's go ahead and go see if it's dialed or not, and then we'll be right back. So come on, let's go. That thing was as dialed as Nemo's left fin. Honestly, if I could buy this scooter right now, I definitely would, I'd swipe my card. But I really love like how the bars are matte black, the deck's matte black, the clamp has a little gloss to it and so does the fork. And then the white in the Jack Skellington right here matches the wheels. And then we have the white and black headset that goes really well. And the Ethic foam grips just top it off. Like honestly, if you, once you try these, you're gonna love them. Yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this scooter. If you guys want us to do more scooters like this or just Anything like that, please let us know uh, down there. If you have anything negative to say, just keep it to yourself. Please make sure you like, subscribe, follow us on all our social media platforms, as well as mine. It'll be a uh, link in bio or description, whatever you guys wanna call it. But anyways, uh, you guys have a great day and uh, I'm gonna go swim on out of here. I got stuff to do.